Welcome to Guild. Guild is best experienced on our mobile app and you can find links to download this by clicking on Join Guild in the top navigation. However, for the purposes of this tour, I'm going to show you the desktop version, which can be accessed through your browser by going to guild.co and clicking on Login. Your Guild profile is how people get to know you, and some of our groups won't accept individuals whose details aren't complete. You can update yours by clicking on the profile picture up in the top left corner. Update your photo, change your details, and decide whether or not you want Guild members to be able to search for you by turning discoverability on and off. Once your Guild profile is complete, you can have a look around. Guild is home to both public and private groups. If you're already a member of one of our communities, click the Groups button to see the details in here. If you'd like to explore what our public groups have to offer, click Discover and enter a search term to find groups of interest. You can then request access. Once you've joined your groups, you can respond to conversations by using the message box at the bottom, and you can start your own conversations using the new conversation button. And in here, you can choose to add images, videos, documents, and share links within the message. And on this particular screen, you can see, because I'm the host of this group, I can choose to start a poll. Going back to the main discussion page, you can see up in the banner that you'll have an events link, which will take you through to a calendar. You can also find out more about the group by clicking on the group's title, and you can see all the members in the group by clicking on the members list. You'll also see that you have various options to invite others to join you in the community. If you'd like to learn more about the people who make up your community, click on their profile photos. Here you can see their details, which groups you have in common, and options for contacting them. If you choose to direct message other people in your community, you can see all of your one-to-one -one messages in your Direct Messages tab over here. And just like with our publicly available directory of groups, you can search our publicly available directory of individuals as well. Again, click Discover and enter your search term to find people you'd like to connect with. You'll notice across Guild that you have these pink circles, some of which have a number in. These are indicators that there's either something you haven't read or an action that you need to take. Guild will send a notification if people join groups that you're part of, contribute to the conversation, or mention you in messages. If you want to control the notifications you receive, simply click on the COG settings icon and go into your email and notifications. In here, you have full control over what's sent to you via email and what's sent to you as an app notification. These can be turned off across the whole of Guild or for individual groups. If you're interested in starting your own Guild community, it's a very simple process. You can use the new group button that appears at the bottom of your screen, add your group name, decide whether or not to make it discoverable. We usually recommend that you wait until you've customised your settings and added a few people before doing this. And then you would click create. Setting up a group on Guild is free and we offer various levels of service depending on your needs. You can see details of all our pricing plans at guild.co slash pricing. If you are thinking of setting up a group and you'd like some support, we're happy to run a short onboarding session with you, taking you through all the settings and customizations available. We can also provide you with resources to ensure that you have the best possible chance of success. To get in touch with the Guild team, you can DM us by going to settings, help, and then DM or you can email us on support at guild.co.